Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath Pre-Patch and the Fresh Start server of Maladeth. Uh, we might be doing another BFD run. I really want to get these quests completed. We need two more pendants. We need a few more corrupted brain stems. And yeah, the quests from dungeons, they're worth quite a lot of experience, so I really don't want to pass these ones up. And uh, there might be some stuff we could still use in BFD. I know that there's a good chess piece for us that drops off of the turtle boss. And potentially a couple other things as well. Now, while, while we wait for a summon here and for the group to coalesce and stick together, I'm going to try to run us up into the wetlands. And, uh, well, that's what we should do. We could do this quest here. We could grab this quest and then come back and do it later. It is a level 21 quest. We're level 25. No! Keep your feet on the ground! Well, that was weird, but I guess it's fine. And yeah, I hope you guys don't mind seeing some of these dungeons multiple times. I enjoy running them because every group is different and dynamic, different things happen. And it's generally a pretty good time. And sometimes even when there are shenanigans, it's still a good time. Someone's infected. You're infected, you gotta die. If you are infected with the zombie plague, please die before you join my dungeon group. Or we can get you killed in the dungeon and then we could res you. One of those things would be a, a preferred outcome. I feel like... Oh, we can't invite you because, uh... Well, we're in a group already. We're gonna hold off on this for now. I think it's gonna benefit me most just to go get the flight point. That's what's probably going to benefit us most. Eventually, we will be doing some actual questing. We kind of want to do this the level 21 quest, though, before we hit level 27. So we're going to have to be careful about that. Uh, that being said, are we going to get two levels from doing BFD again? Even with, the, even with the quest, I don't think so. Anything is possible, I guess. I just I don't think we're going to get level 27 by doing one more BFD run. A lot of the quests in town are level 22 and up, so those will be a little bit more. The ones we have to worry about are just these ones out here, and then of course if we want to do the Elgaz Gauntlet, which I think we do, it's an easy kill quest. We can beat level 27 and still get full experience for it, so... I think that's the plan. It's very possible that, uh... We could work on some stuff here in the wetlands, and maybe by the time we're done with the wetlands, we will be ready to go into South Shore. I don't really know when the quests open up there. I feel like it's probably around level 28 to 30. And yeah, Hillsbrad is going to be a good place for us to go pre-Stranglethorn. So maybe we'll hit up Stranglethorn when we're like level 34 would be ideal. And then after Stranglethorn, I mean, it's it's a smooth run from there, basically, through a few different zones, straight into the Outlands, so... It's gonna be faster than we think. Definitely gonna grab your quest. What's on your mind? Uh, should we grab the Green Warden's quest? We're gonna grab it because I don't know what part of the zone we do it in. And if it is over to the west, we probably want to have it now. I keep reminding myself we can run through puddles without fear of getting dismounted because we no longer get dismounted uh, when we go through water, so... 
think he wants us to fight, uh... Yeah, mongrels. The gnolls. Ten mosshide mongrels. Fifteen gnolls. And yeah, they're actually gonna be back this way. So that's good. We'll be able to pair that up when we go back to do the Don Dun Algaz gauntlet. We can work on those together. Not together, but in the same general area. Let's get ourselves over here. I, I'm not going to take a summon no matter what until I get this flight point. So let's let's make it speedy so that maybe we don't hold up the group entirely. That being said, let's see where people are at. Stormwind, not going to help. Lakeshire, not going to help summon. The Long Wash, that might be somewhere in Kalimdor. And the Twilight. I think, I think our Draenei and our Night Elf are probably going to be the ones best equipped and most positioned to get us some summons. I'm really hoping we can finish the Corrupted Brainstems. Uh, I'm, I'm worried because we only got three last time, and if everybody in the group needs the quest, then that's going to be a problem. There's surprisingly not enough Naga in there, and the drop rate is not 100%. If the drop rate were 100%, then there would probably be enough Naga for everybody in the group to get their items. Unfortunately, it's not 100%, so it's essentially impossible for everybody to get all their items on a single run. Uh, this might be two runs that we don't get it. We got close to the Twilight Pendants, but we didn't get all of those either. What's on your mind? Safe travels. All right, so we're going to grab some of the quest here, obviously, and we are going to set our hearthstone. Keep your feet on the ground. It's not doing us any good over in Westfall, so let's go ahead and set it here. Hey there. Oh, uh, the third fleet. Be careful. Hi. Hi. Off with you. How are ya? 
Watch your back. You need something? See you later. What can I do for you? Murlocs are crawling from the deep waters and building their villages on the coastline. They are harassing our fishers and merchants and must be stopped. One of these Murlocs, Gobbler, skulks with the other bluegill Murlocs and harries merchants along the road. Go with honor. We will take care of Gobbler. Alright, uh, we need to take a look here. Where are people at? We are we are close to close to getting a summon here. Need help? And James Halloran here wants us to uh, get some uh, crocolis skins Light for him. Bless you. Light be with you. And we'll see if we can get inside to this quest before we get summoned. It's going to be close. Eventually we will quest again on this character. This day has just been a day where I've really been in the mood to do dungeons. We keep getting some decent quests. Uh, I felt like I was going to do stockades some more, but we ran it three times back to back, so I, I, we're pretty much moving on past stockades at this point. How are you? Uh, the Dragon Ball Orc Clan was all but destroyed by the end of the Second War after they lost control of their red dragon pets. The dragons were not very happy with their old masters and fiercely hunted the Dragon Maws. What few remained fled from Grim Batol and into the mountains east of Welgar's excavation. And there's our summon. Hi. Let's do Might for the Rogue. Draenei Paladin can have Kings. Let's just do Kings on everybody. We'll do Kings. There's another Paladin, so... Uh, we need to equip our one-hander and shield. Would be a good idea. Uh, I could have emptied my inventory. I did some blacksmithing. <laughs> did some blacksmithing. Got that leveled up a little bit. Uh, and I didn't sell all the crap that I made. So that could cause an issue eventually here. Uh, we'll see though. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a lot of, uh, yeah, here we go. We, we need more of these guys to be on the outside of the instance. Uh, because people need to get their corrupted brainstems. Although only two of us seem to have the quest, so that's something. Hey, at least we got one item that gets us halfway there, which is not awful. Pretty much want to get right into things here. Uh, do we have everyone? We do. Alright, let's get going. Uh, I don't... I don't want that. I don't want it. Take it away. Uh, done. Thank you. <laughs>
I know that sometimes people like want to mark the tank so they know where the tank is at, and that's fine, but honestly, I, I don't want it. It annoys the crap out of me. If it were a raid or something, then I would understand a little bit more why we might want to have a mark floating above us. But in a five-man dungeon that's a leveling dungeon, uh, let's just keep the marks off of me. So this is our healer. We have to make sure that we are waiting for mana and all that good stuff. I will wait for mana. I won't pull more right now. I will get us where we need to go and uh, we'll hang out there for a second. Somebody is crazily pinging the map. Always good to see. show off. Now we'll go ahead and we want the healer to get some mana back, we want to get some mana back, and then we'll get moving. There's the tortoise armor. Pretty good tanking armor. Doesn't have any uh, strength on it, but still pretty good. We rolled a two, so yeah, thankfully no one rolled against us. But that's a nice upgrade. I'm happy about that. Going over this way. Last time we were in here, the water disconnected us. We went into the water, we didn't attack, we got disconnected. When we came back in, we were, like, at the entrance of the instance. So I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen again. Not really sure there's anything we can do about it. It happened to somebody else in our group as well. And we've been disconnected here before in the past. So it's just something to do with the water. It's a little buggy. And if we get disconnected, then that's what's going on.
this is a quest objective over here. We already did this quest, so... We don't need it. Throws us underwater. Good move. Go ahead and get Kings back up on everybody. Except for ourselves, because we hate ourselves. And let's drink. I kind of think I could like line a cider, but getting frozen in place did not help with that. Now we are slowed. We are more than slowed though, we, we actually aren't moving at all. Which is concerning to me, but <laughs> apparently we're fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Uh, we don't need this. It's not it's not good for us. Drops like basically every time we fight her. But, you know, there's a rogue that needs it and that's awesome. I love it when people get stuff out of dungeon runs. I, uh, I want all my brains this run, so I do want to fight some of these guys. Yeah, we all have the quest now, unfortunately. They, they did share it out. 
so chances of completing this one about 50-50. It's kind of unfortunate. It, it needs to be a hundred percent drop rate. I guess that's all I really have to say is that I'm doing it and then they can either come along for the ride or they could hide back there. And there's the disconnect. There's the disconnect. Are we going to be in the dungeon or are we going to be back at the entrance? Yeah, this really needs to be fixed. Um, we've replicated the same exact thing twice now in one day. And last time it happened to someone else in our group right after it happened to us. So it's really, really bad. <laughs> it's a huge bug when not only does swimming through part of the water disconnect you, but then to add insult to injury, it spawns you at the start of the instance. You know, and your group's way up there. It's great as a tank, you just pull a bunch of shit. And then you have to spawn back at the start of the instance, and then the group thinks you're basically trolling them. Because you're like, I'm gonna pull some stuff, and then you're offline. And then you're back, but you're at the start of the instance, so... Good times. Yeah, Blizzard, please. Please play your game. If Blizzard had people who played the game, they would have people who experienced this shit. And then those people would contact people that they work with and say, Hey, let's get this fixed. This is, this is a big problem that should just be an easy fix. Yeah, it's... As you can tell, I'm pretty annoyed about it. I was okay, I became okay with it on prior characters when it was disconnecting us, but it was leaving us where we were at. Now that it's disconnecting us and putting us back at the beginning of the instance, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, it's gonna cause wipes, that's gonna cost people time. People's time is very valuable to them. We shouldn't be costing people time because we have a weird disconnect bug that just doesn't get fixed. It's not acceptable. And yeah, unfortunately, I think that's all the Naga that we're going to run into in here. So what are we at? We're at five or six. I, I don't think this is updating right. Yeah, it's, it's not. <laughs> Oh, they have them too. I thought it was only the Naga that had them, but apparently it is uh, these guys also. So let's let's go ahead and fight these guys too. Yeah. 
And we need to drink. If they want to go ahead and pull ahead, they are free to do that. We need some mana back though, so we can actually effectively do things. Hoping that since we pulled a couple extra Naga, some more will uh, be able to get this quest done. Glad that we got it done. We'll have two more to turn in. I have no idea where they go. Aberdeen? Aberdeen. Okay. We do have the flight points now for Darnassus and Aberdeen, so that's good. And then Twilight Pendants. Turns into Darnassus. Okay, we can get there easily. We have the flight points now. We'll just have to... We'll have to run out of here. Afterwards. We are going to stop after this and get mana and let our healer get mana. We have, we don't have a seal up right now. That's really great. Alright, we, we've just had two people go AFK. Just boom, gone. AFK. It was our healer, for one, so that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna pull this guy because I just want to keep some kind of progress going here. And we'll, uh, we'll heal ourselves through it, I guess. If we have to. I wish the rogues would, like, kick this guy, you know, lock him out of his spellcasting for a minute would be absolutely amazing. And yeah, in the meantime, we'll just heal tank this. That being said, we want to make sure we have lots of uh, mana to do that.
Everyone looks okay, as far as mana is concerned. Definitely cleanse the poison off of us. That is something we are capable of doing. It's nice to see that more muck dwellers spawn this time. Last time the room was full of oracles and it was incredibly hard to pull it. And until doing this back to back, I didn't realize that the types of mobs that spawned here was randomized. Uh, and you know, last time they were all oracles except for a handful over here in the corner. This is much easier to pull. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Potion might have saved us. It's a nice uh, piece of hand gear there. It's Ten strength, four stamina. I don't care. Need if you need. You're going to anyway. Yeah. Goodbye, awesome upgrade. We are wearing a pair of gloves with five strength on them, so that's cool. I'm not sure why the hunter is pulling more shit, but they are. I could say more. I could point out that you're Oom, and again it was the hunter that pulled more, but why would I do that? It's just going to be rebutt rebuttaled in some way. And there's the wipe. Apparently they don't need us anyway. I'm not even sure why we're here. Should just let the hunter pet tank everything and do all the pulls and then we can just kind of sit back.
Yeah, can't you res? Yeah, we need this thing called mana to res. It's this crazy thing that we need to, to cast spells. It's nuts, I know. You, you can go ahead and you can, uh, you can have those if you want them. What else is back there? Oh, Jorgus Jet. I wonder if somebody needs him for a quest. I'm gonna do this and we'll just line aside him for a minute. I'm not taunting off the pet anymore. If they want to have the taunt on their pet, they can have their pet tank it.
Let's go ahead and drink, give our healer a moment to do the same. And there we go, that's 10 out of 10 on our pendants. Now we'll go ahead and we'll let everybody drink up.
that Voidwalker just really did not know what to do with himself, did he? Time to drink. Oh, server shut down in 15 minutes. Oh, that's 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 quite a timer we have there. Uh, we should be able to do this in 15 minutes. That being said, I've never really been on the clock before to, to get this done, so let's hope for the best. I thought I could line a sight in back here, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, we, we did line a sight in successfully. Uh, yep, let's get some mana back. That would be a good idea. Who dares disturb my meditation? Seen that drop both times now. Eleven int, ten spirit staff. Should have enough time to finish the run. I'm not gonna have enough time to go turn these in though. Not in 11 minutes. It's probably gonna take about that long to finish up and then to run out of the dungeon. So we'll see how far we get.
some leather pants or cloth pants with one stamina, five intellect, and 15 spirit. One stamina, five intellect, 15 spirit. And we won them. Aren't we just delighted? Guess we could use it as the basis of a healing gear set. I, I don't really know how much we need a healing gear set. I'm probably going to tank all of our leveling stuff. If I heal anything, it'll be in it'll be in Northrend. Nine minutes to get this boss and get out of the instance. Inventory's full. Yeah, I don't even think we picked up that piece of blue gear because our inventory was full, did we? And yeah, that is the run, guys. That's it. Uh, from here, all I'm going to do is take us out of the instance. At least try to get us out of the instance before the server shuts down. But thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for spending your time here. Hope you had a good one. Let me know what you think. And as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.